Udeblé. I've come your way again. And it's a privilege to come your way tonight again. Thank you for, for being part of this program tonight. Just want to appreciate you for those that will come across this video. I pray that as you list in your life, you know the medicine again. And you will seek the divine help. The help that comes only from God. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Without much ado, let's just go straight to the business of today. Thank you, Father, Lord. We bless your name for this privilege. We bless your name for bringing us together again to hear your word, to receive from the throne of grace. We pray, Lord, that as we have come and gather in your name, we pray that you speak into our hearts in the name of Jesus, because it is written that it enters the world, give it light, and understand it, we see here. We pray that your light, your word tonight will bring your light to our spirit, soul, and body. In the name of Jesus, that you give us a clear understanding of your word. Holy Spirit, minister to us tonight. Give us a clear revelation of your word. In the name of Jesus, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak your word. I I appreciate you, Lord, for this privilege because it's a great privilege to speak your word and speak your word to your people. I pray as many that will come across this video that our life will, remain, will not remain the same again. In the name of Jesus, we do a transformation to the glory of your name. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name in Jesus' name. For the glory must be to the Lord Shaddai. For he is worthy of the praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself. Unto the Lord be thy glory, great is he adore. Unto the Lord be thy glory, great is he adore. Unto the Lord be thy glory, great is he adore. Unto the Lord be thy glory. Great is he alone. Father, tonight glorify yourself again. Let your name be glorified in this meeting tonight. Let your name be praised. Let your name be exalted in this meeting tonight. Oh Lord, let our life be transformed. Let soul be saved. Let life be transformed. Let you be broken. Let chain be destroyed. To the glory of your name. To the praise of your name. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Yahweh. Blessed be your holy name. We bless your name. We appreciate you. We glorify your name. And we pray that we receive help from you today. We receive help from you this week. We receive help from you this month. You are this month that pushed to an end. We receive help from you this year, 2022. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed and worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Without wasting much time, we'll be talking about the topic that is before us today. Help. Divine helper. Divine helper. Hallelujah. Divine helper. Praise the Lord. We'll be talking on the topic divine helper. Before we go further, let's what is divine? 
let's know the word divine. What is divine? Divine relating to God. Relating to God. Or pertaining address or devoted to God. Hallelujah. It also means proceeding from God. Divine means proceeding from God. Or coming from God. Hallelujah. Proceeding or coming from God. This is what divine means. Let's look at the other word, helper. What is helper? Helper means a person who helps someone. A person who helps or assists someone. Hallelujah. So tonight we are going to be talking of divine helper. Divine helper. So we understand that divine is relating from God. And helper is a someone who helps someone is a person who helps someone hallelujah so it's going to be divine helper divine mean coming from god help coming from god assisting someone who needs help hallelujah i don't know if anyone that needs help tonight but for me i need a divine helper i need a divine helper and god has been a divine helper to me my life is a testimony of a divine help from god of a divine help. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, we know our God is ever ready. He's ever ready to help. He's ever ready to help in time of trouble. He's ever ready to help in time of trouble. The Bible tells us in Psalm 64, sorry, Psalm 46 verse 1. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Our God, the God of heaven and earth, the maker of heaven and earth, is a very present help in time of trouble. Hallelujah. Our God is the very present help in time of trouble. Let's see the anchor scripture of today from the book of Psalm 1 to 1. One of my favorite Psalms. Psalm 1 to 1. So one to one, we're reading from one to three. So one to one, from one to three. I read, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help come from the Lord, which made the heaven and earth. My help come from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Verse three, the last. Say, he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we look at this verse, the scripture we just read, it said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. And verse 2 say, it say, My help comes from the Lord which made the heaven and the earth. In other words, there are help from different places. Help can come from different places. But the psalmist is saying, my help come from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. And as for me, I am saying today that my help comes from the Lord, which made the heaven and the earth. My help is from God, which made the heavens and the earth. As I just said, yes, our God is ever ready, is ever ready to help in time of trouble, according to the scripture we've earlier read in Psalm 46, verse 1. In Psalm 46, verse 1. But today, many Christians seem to take this help, this divine help, for granted. Today, many Christians seem to take this divine help for granted until things begin to get out of hand. Hallelujah. Whenever you are strongly with sin, whenever you are strongly with sin, strongly with sickness, or addicted to a bad habit, like smoking, drinking, all kinds of addicted to sex, whatever, hallelujah. When you are addicted to bad habit, or whenever 
you find yourself moving in a cycle of poverty, of sickness, of failure, or delayed fulfillment of prophecy. Delayed fulfillment of prophecy. It is time to seek divine help. When you begin to express this, it is time for you to seek divine help. Divine help. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember that only God's help gives permanent solution to human problems. Only God's help. Yeah, as I just said, there are help from different places. Help from man, help from women, help from society, help from the government, help from individuals, wherever. But it's only God's help that can give any human a permanent solution to any problems, to any problems, whether sickness, whether failure, whether disease, whether poverty, whether addiction, is only God's help that can give you a permanent solution. And I pray today that you will seek that help in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone may ask, How can we assess this help? How can I assess this divine help? Uh, it's easy. It's easy for us to assess this divine help. In Hebrew chapter 4, verse 16, hallelujah. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 16. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 16 says, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. In other words, you must first obtain mercy. You must first obtain mercy to assess this divine help. You must first obtain mercy. Hallelujah. And you must genuinely give your life to Jesus. For you to assess this divine help, you must first give your life to Jesus. From there, you can graduate in going what? Meditating on God's word. Meditating on God's word. Every day, according to the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8 and 9, we must give ourselves to the word of God. For us to assess this divine help, we must first obtain his mercy and genuinely turn to Jesus, giving our life to Jesus, and then meditating on his word, yield our life to the word of God. Hallelujah. Then we can proceed. We can proceed and depend completely on the Holy Spirit to assess the divine help. So it's so easy. If only you can submit to God. The Bible says, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. The only thing we need to do is to submit to the Lordship of Jesus. Submit to the Lordship of Jesus by studying the word, praying, and giving ourselves permanently, completely, depending completely on the Holy Spirit, who is our comforter, who is our director. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a secret to every believer that want to live a successful life. That people will begin to ask, how did you get here? How did you get this? How did you get that? How come your life is like this? It's the secret of 
of success in life, of success in ministry, of success in distance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, it's so easy. Just surrender. And you will begin to assess this divine help from God. This divine help from God. The Bible says in the book of Daniel that God rules in the affairs of men. God rules in the affairs of men. God decides what will happen. It is also written, He said, Who see it a thing and it comes to pass? When the Lord has not commanded it, it's only when the Lord decides it that it happens. Hallelujah. It's only when the Lord decided that it happened. The book of Proverbs told us. Proverbs, I think Proverbs 27. Hallelujah. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 20. Proverbs chapter 21, yes. Proverbs 21. It says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of the water, he turned it whithersoever he will. Hallelujah. So the help can come from king. Help can come from anywhere. Help can come from the president, from the government, from wherever. But God still makes decisions. God still decides. See, many are the verses of the man, but God's wills will stand. God's decisions still stand. So we need to seek the divine help. It is time for us today, this generation, to look unto God for divine help. If you look at the world today, look at look at look at what is going around in the world today. You will weep. All we need is the divine help of God for us to be able to quench the fire that we need God's divine help. We need God's divine help. So it's time for us to turn to God for help. It doesn't matter what you are passing through. If you only you can turn to God for his help, believe me, you will begin to have a victorious life. You will begin to see victory in everything you do. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord will send divine help to you today in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will grant you his divine help as you seek him through prayer, through his word, and yielding, to your, and yielding yourself to the Holy Spirit, that the Lord will grant you the back help as from today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Ma, for joining. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is all for today. Some other time, pray with God to meet again. Please, let's focus on God and and depend on him totally. This is the season we need to depend on God totally. This is the season we need to depend on God for his divine help. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me take a short prayer. Let's take this prayer as we pray. Say, Father, please let your divine help be available to me always and my family in the name of Jesus. Let your divine help be available to me always. Let your divine help be available to my family always. Let your divine help be available to your sons and daughters always. All over the world, those who are passing through pains, through difficulties, through one challenges or the other. Father, we pray tonight. Let your divine help be available tonight upon their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, let your divine help be available, be available, be available right now, right now, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Yahweh. Blessed be your holy name. Glory, honor, praise to your name. Be thy exalted tonight. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, man. God bless you. Mom is good. God bless you. Sister Ufuma Party, Gabriel. God bless you for joining. That is all for today. Till we meet some other time. Remain blessed. Remain blessed. Remain blessed. In Jesus' name. Have a wonderful night, friends. God bless you.